Okay, I'm going to do a quick presentation on a new project that 78 Digital has been working on, and uh, it's called the Web Appetizer, which is a kind of a funny play on words. Uh, but what it is is a uh, mobile web application, and uh, what a what a web app is is something that mimics a lot of the sort of functionality and behaviors of uh, of a native uh, application for an iPhone or for an Android or BlackBerry but it does so using uh, just standards based technologies such as uh, HTML5 and there's huge benefits to developing your mobile applications this way um, just off the top of my head you've got a whole slew of uh, developers out there who can uh, who are really well versed uh, using these technologies uh, databases, HTML, JavaScript. Uh, it's very easy to do uh, to make updates and make changes so there's a lot of flexibility there and uh, speaking from experience when you uh, when you submit something to the to the App Store uh, a native uh, native iPhone app there's a lot of work a lot of work involved in that and anytime you want to make an update to your to your native iPhone application it could be up to a couple weeks uh, before that that change is reflected and there's always a chance that uh, Apple will reject what you're doing for some sort of arbitrary reason so uh, 78 is really big on the uh, the mobile web apps um, the other thing that uh, the web appetizer um, is going to demonstrate is uh, local storage uh, through a SQLite database and uh, as I go through and show you this uh, this cool app I'll uh, I'll show where the uh, where the uh, where the data was coming from. So here's the uh, the home screen of the web appetizer, and as you can see, it's you know it's got a nice little uh, nice behavior. The the top uh, the, the top part and the bottom part are are uh, are static, and uh, and uh, scrolling is is nice and nice and smooth. Now, uh, like I mentioned, uh, I'm going to talk about the data a little bit. Uh, all this information on uh, this page it actually comes from a local uh, local storage, a SQLite database. And uh, the way we architected this was actually having a model of, of this data uh, on uh, a server. Uh, so that would be all the different uh, uh, categories in this case, utilities, entertainment, news. Uh, they're all buckets uh, with uh, uh, associated data. And uh, what happens is when the web appetizer loads up, it actually requests any new information from the server and it downloads it all at once. I mean, it's pretty quick. Uh, so all the overhead of connecting to a server and bringing back information is done up front one time. And uh, from that point on, anytime you go in and uh, uh, interact with this, so click on that, you notice that it, it loads up basically instantaneously. That's because it's it's not actually going to the internet at this point. Uh, everything is everything is actually stored locally, which is which is really great. Uh, that also means that this will work uh, without an internet connection. So if you're on the subway or or whatever, uh, this will still function uh, exactly as you see it right now. And uh, other than that, um, I guess. You'll notice that there's some nice interaction, uh, nice transitions and stuff, and that's done using uh, CSS3 um, transitions basically. So this is this is completely using JavaScript and CSS to uh, produce this this really cool uh, result. Just did a search here. And you notice that the results came back instantaneously. And uh, I think that's it for the web appetizer. Thank you.